Here we go. Soak in that line score. Bottom half of the ninth inning. Framber Valdez and the Astros lead four to nothing. Mauricio Dubon is the new left fielder taking over for his buddy Jordan Alvarez. Framber will face the eight, nine, and one hitters. Robbie Grossman leading off. Grossman takes one down for a ball, one and zero. Oh. Grossman has flied out to left and hit into a double play after Jonah Heim reached on an error. Two base runners tonight. The error with Heim reaching and the walk to Marcus Simeon in the seventh inning. Robert has fallen behind a few hitters in the last couple of innings, two and zero, oh, as he has fallen behind Grossman, two and zero. Oh. Astros lead this game four to nothing and have all 11 hits in the game. There's a strike two and one. Beautiful. Two one just a little get me over breaking ball. We know Robbie Grossman likes to take some pitches and work counts, but that's a good job by Fromber getting back into this count, evening it out at two and two. Might be the simplest curveball we see him throw all night. Count goes full on Robbie. Robbie had a 2 0 count last time. May have gone after a pitch out of the zone and fouled it to make it 2 and 1 and eventually would hit into a double play. Now, Fromber with a full count to start the bottom half of the ninth. That'll be off the plate. Second walk allowed by Valdez. A oh, leadoff base runner here for the Rangers in the bottom half of the ninth. And Ezekiel Duran will bat. Duran has chopped a grounder that Valdez made a play on. And also struck out looking one of five strikeouts for Fromber so far in this game. Ground ball towards Bregman. Nice pick to second for one. Double play. Huge turn with Bregman on the short hop. Huge double play. Bregman with a great reaction to be able to pick it up on a tough hop. That ball was hit well by Duran. But Bregy, you can see that quick little footwork at the end. It enabled him to get that good hop and all of a sudden a great feed to Jose Altuve. And this double play has been turned two outs. Josh Smith takes a strike, 0 and 1. Smith has hit three ground balls to the right side, two gloved by Singleton, one by Altuve. We mentioned it earlier. He's the fourth best hitter in Major League Baseball left on left coming in batting 344 and hit a home run last night to win the game against the left hander Caleb Ferguson now Fromber trying to get him for the final out off the plate two and one Corey Seager waits on deck. Well we went to that slider. The least thrown pitch in this game. Up and in. Almost hit him. It's three and one. That's the first fastball we've seen get away from Fromber Valdez. That one tailing up and in. We talked about him throwing 44 curveballs, I think, last outing. He threw, he's thrown 40 in this ball game tonight. He's a 27th sinker. Big swing, no contact. Bromber one pitch away. How about him breaking out the left on left changeup? Wow. In a 3 1 count. Pitch number 105 gets him to a full count. Second walk of the inning, third walk of the game. They've all come here in the last three innings. Bromber will face the Rangers' best hitter for the last month and a half, Corey Seeger. If he's going to make it happen, he's going to have to earn it. He's had some pretty good at bats against Corey Seager. He struck him out in that first at bat on that breaking ball. And a couple of flyouts after that. Seager sent one to deep left in the fourth inning. 
And skies this one to right. Chaz McCormick all the way back. And the no-hitter is over. One out away from the no-hitter. Instead, Corey Seager connects for a two-run home run. Bromber that close to becoming the second pitcher in Astros history to have two no-hitters. Instead, it's a 4-2 game in the bottom half of the ninth. That was a slider that just stayed up, out, over the plate. And Seager got a hold of it. So close to history tonight. His first start in August last year was a no-hitter against Cleveland. And his first start of August this year, he got 26 outs and was one out away from a no-hitter. Will leave after 107 pitches and gets a huge ovation from the Astros fans here in Arlington.